Okay, I'm painting uh, here on some of the vinyls, vinyl covers with my own paintbrush, my own paint, my own hand, and uh, these are for Black Friday. They're going to be the special ones on sale. And uh, I'm painting over top of my original artwork writing, so it's kind of like uh, it's a whole lot of me. So here we go. I got. So if you're doing this at home, remember you just need a size three brush. And you just need your standard craft blue, um, uh, phthalo blue, actually. And we're just gonna dip, do a little dip here, get some water in. And uh, we're just gonna paint on these letters, you know? Ooh, that's making green. I didn't want that, really. Okay, make some more paint there. And just some happy little brush strokes. And then remember, there are no mistakes. No mistakes. Just, uh, just, just happy accidents, really. So there's nothing wrong with uh, a little extra paint in one spot, a little less paint in another spot. And, uh, just keep going. There you go. Okay, I think that looks good. It's not too green, which is nice. I'm just gonna go over a couple spots here. A couple shaky spots at the beginning, you know? Sometimes you get off to a shaky start. Okay, so there's one. See the yellow and the blue. Center frame. You know, I saw the cutest squirrel the other day, and uh, it was a baby squirrel. And uh, my friend Ivan picked up that little baby squirrel and took him home because a uh, little critter didn't have a, didn't have a place to go. So we've got a special treat for you later today, and. Uh, I think you're gonna meet Ivan's new friend. And ain't that just a specialist thing? So here I'm going on the next one. Just into this blue on yellow vibe, you know? Sometimes I paint fast, sometimes I paint slow. It's all up to how you're feeling. And of course, this takes me back to all the good times. The good times I had making this record. With a whole bunch of friends down in California. And, uh, Spent about six weeks making it. Hanging out. We've got a whole bunch of our uh, whole bunch of our own little jokes going in the studio. It's always fun. Friends and jokes. Huh? So now I'm on to the next one here. Just enjoying, gonna get a little more phthalo blue out here on my palette and uh, keep things flowing. You wanna keep it flowing. Uh, just get into the spirit of it. You know? You could listen to music. Heck, you could listen to this music. Whatever you like when you're painting. You just do it however you like. I've got friends, talented friends that paint in silence. So, uh, I'm ready here. I'm gonna try one. 
I'm going to get a different size brush out. And I'm going to try some over the white lettering and see how that goes. All right. My paint's a little wet this time. It's kind of funny, I'm focused on the geometry of the shapes. I start to forget that it's my own name I'm writing. There's the blue on the white. Uh, don't know if I like that as much. But someone's gonna get that record and think it's pretty special, so that's, that's okay. Get a little more blue out here, seems pretty popular. Really should have brought a hat. That's what happens when you got funky long hair like me. It gets up in your face. Maybe one of my uh, studio elves will bring you a hat. Here we go. You know what they say. If you want to get ahead, get a hat. And that's not quite tight enough. All right, so now we got the real style going on. Let's get right back to work here. Now, sometimes when I'm painting, I like things to be a little bit, uh, a little bit blobby, because I like the uh, sort of raised 3D feeling. But because these ones are going to all go into mailing slips going out to you folks, I'm going to try and keep it a little smoother. The mailman's going to appreciate that. Some happy little lines here. You know. Lines making letters, letters making words. Sometimes I paint when I'm stressed. It helps me feel better. Because, uh, there you go, I think that's a good one. Because the thing about painting is that uh, I'm not very good at it. I like it a lot. I'm not very good at it. So the bar is low for me. I just get my brush out and I start mucking things up. That's always a pretty good time. Mucking about. Getting distracted. So we're just going along. I think I've figured out I figured out pretty much how I like these to go. So, just going to keep it up. There you go. I think that's a special little cover for someone. Okay, I'm going to keep going on this blue here for a bit. Now this isn't special paint, there's nothing special about this paint. It's just your basic paint. You could do whatever you like though, of course. You could maybe get some uh, glitter paint or glow-in-the-dark paint. Whatever makes you happy. That's the key here. Whatever makes you happy. That makes me happy. Okay, one more letter, just scraping up the end of the blue paint here. S big straight line. I like all the wobbles in it. There you go. That's another good one. Okay. 
So now we're going to change it up a bit. And uh, the next part, I'm going to try this red out. Now this is a uh, stop sign red. But I'm just getting started. So I'm going to put the red here. Yeah, this is like classic. Uh, kind of, let's see how this goes here. You know what? I'm going to go with the big brush again. Funny thing about funny thing about Canada is that all the squirrels are black. Big black squirrels. And one white squirrel. I've had American friends come up. They're always saying, oh hey, look at that big black squirrel over there. Well, that's just a regular Canadian square. Definitely excited to see how my friend Ivan is doing with his new little squirrel, squirrel helper. So there's the red one. Stop sign. It's got a lot of zing, don't you think? We're gonna need a little more of this. And you just keep keep going on here. We're gonna do another bit of red. Yeah, this color is a little more exciting to me. Kind of getting into it. So, uh, yeah, when I was almost done the album, I was telling my friend Mimi, she's a talented uh, photographer and musician. I was telling her about this idea I had for the photo on the cover of the album. And uh, I described the rocks and the sand and the water to her. And I said I want to be in this mid-throw kind of this position like I'm throwing a stone. And she said, oh, I know exactly where to go. And she drove me out to this spot in Malibu. Um, and we took this photo. We took a bunch of photos out there. And then seeing this photo, it was like plucked right from my mind. That was pretty cool. And then, uh, then I took it home. Well, then, you know, she developed it and stuff like that. Sent it over to me. And then I printed it out just on like my, my parents' color printer. And, uh, I put a piece of clear plastic over top and I started painting letters on it. So then I had a bunch of different letters, a bunch of different lettering options, and I sent them over to Josh. Josh from uh, the band. And uh, he, um, he, I had given them this shape, but he like, you know, digitized them and put it together. And that's how we came up with the cover. Okay, I think I'm done with the red. It's starting to make me think about blood. But it is that time of year. It is getting close to Halloween. So that is to be expected. So what if we tried one that was white? Maybe that would be cool in like a nice, subtle way. You know? 
bit, uh, bit artistic. So here's the white. We're going to try that. Oh, I like the white because it looks good even when it's thin. And actually, I'm gonna try something else here now. Okay, so now I'm gonna keep my white brush going. So if you're at home, just rest your brush down somewhere. And, whoop, oh, that happens. Rest, put your brush down somewhere. And uh, now we're gonna, we're gonna get a second color going. And uh, this is this nice yellow I got. They're calling the sunshine yellow. Okay, now you got a fresh brush and we're getting into the sunshine here. Now we're gonna do yellow over the white letters. Just, just happy little lines, having fun with it, you know, cause that's, that's what this is about. So we're going here, we're going there. And now you're getting the reverse effect of the album art. My N was a little big there, but that's okay. So there you go. So that's the, the flip, the flip would you do on the two colors. And I think that's gonna be a very special record cover for someone. I like that. I'm going to uh, get some more yellow down here, because that, that was pretty fun. And this time I'm just going to go yellow, I'm just going to go to town with it. So you got to get a big, good amount of paint on your brush here. And we're just going to go... And I'm actually going to do the white on white now to see how that looks. So I'm going back. My white brush here. Still got the white paint. This one looks cool. It looks like it's sort of in motion. With layers of uh, shades there. It's a little white and yellow. I think I'll, uh, I'm gonna take it back. Take it back to blue. It's a journey through color, and this is my journey. Did the blue, we did the stop sign, we did the white. We did the sunshine. Now we're going all the way back to blue. So, here we go. It's kind of rolling it on the paintbrush. All happy accidents here. There we go. That's the classic blue. Someone's gonna like that. Okay. What else can we do with the blue? We can do some water. Gonna do a bit of water down here. Gonna do it on the next one here too. This is uh, this is how some of the famous artists worked. You know about Andy Warhol. We spent in a whole bunch of time. So here, 
standing on the shoulders of giants. Alright. I'm going to do one more. And that's enough fun with that. Okay. So now, we're going to get Go back to our white. Any kind of white you use is going to work great. Any kind of white, as long as it's paint. Okay. So now we've got this one. Painting that W is really fun. Great letter. It's got the power of two letters all to itself. There you go. So this one's got a bit of the water effect. And uh, we can even go in here and put some little happy little dots on the waves here. Just kind of mushing your brush around in there. And that's going to give some dimension to the ways. Alright, so now I'm gonna I don't mind that there's a little blue on my brush, I don't know, maybe that's good. Let's try this one here. Just have fun with it. Just keep keep things moving along. There you go. And these ones are going to be kind of a scenic set. So, uh, maybe you're working on an album of your own. Maybe you're making some music and uh, you're hoping that goes on a vinyl. Just like this one. Well, I would have to say, good for you. And I'm excited to hear it. And, uh, Paint it just like this one. Do your own thing. Maybe dine alone, we can put it out. You know? Fine folks. Fine tunes. Certainly done a lot of these today, and uh, I want to say thanks for hanging out with me. Maybe one of them will find its way to you. And good luck in your in your painting adventures, in your music adventures. Have yourself a nice, uh, nice winter. Happy holidays. And uh, I'll do the same. Okay, there you go. It's the painted record cover, and uh, this is uh, this is for someone special out there. <laughs>